personally, but I was able to watch the videos um, from Andre's family. And so I want to discuss uh, the things that they said. Um, first of all, let me say this. Disclaimer. Uh, I know how you people with money like to litigate. So let's get this straight. Everything that I am saying here was said by the family of Andre's mom, which means her sister, her children. All of the things that were spoken was spoken from them. I am repeating what they said. And so if you have an issue with what was said, you need to go deal with them, not me. Um, everything can be confirmed that it came from them. You can easily go look at the same videos I did and you guys will be able to see that. So that's for any of you folks who like to litigate. Okay. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> first of all, it was said that not only did Miss Robbie send those texts to Andre, I want to start there, but she cursed him out. Um, Andre put the phone on speakerphone so his entire family was able to hear. His sister was the one who was saying this. Um, the um, news and several other uh, vlog channels from here on YouTube um, covered this. But she cursed him out. Told him... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, you ain't my grandson. You couldn't be. You done stole from me, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I am ad-libbing, so this is not verbatim. I just want to say that. Um, the aunt said the apartment that they had him living in was not a luxury apartment. It was basically a dump next to a, lux a luxury apartment building. And that Tim didn't even want Andre to come to his house. Tim... They said Tim was jealous because um, basically uh, that young man was an heir for uh, Miss Robbie and that, um, you know, she was the last named child. Tim is a Norman. Miss Robbie is a Montgomery and so was Andre. And so it was said that that was, you know, an issue for Tim. That's what they said. Um. But they said that Miss Robbie was very ugly to him, that she spoke very ugly to him in reference to this. Um, I guess she really believed it. Um, now, if I really believed it, I wouldn't have waited seven months to get a, get this lie detector done. I would have taken my behind down there and my own doggone uh, lie detector individual and have him do the test. That's what I would have did. I wouldn't have waited seven months for him to come up there. Um, also, I mean, let's just use common sense. If Andre had the money, he wouldn't have been standing no La Quintas and, and, and going through what he was going through. Whatever legal issues that he had in Texas, he would have took care of because he would have had the money. And he would have been staying someplace like a Chase Plaza, something nice and upscale that has, you know, private entrance and all of this. He wasn't doing any of that. He wasn't in the streets. That's what they tried to paint about him. We saw that. We never saw him look suspect. The boy went to school. He played piano with his grandmother. I mean, he was just a kid. No kid, no human is perfect. So we can't expect that of him because he's just like the rest of us, imperfect creatures that God put here to do the best that we can on a daily basis. Okay? Um... Tim was making money, but did he have money? We really can't say so. He got evicted from apartments. He Every time he made a deposit for his mother, he admitted that he took $10,000 out of the deal. Now, did she agree with that? I don't know. But what I do know is that she litigated on him as well because he basically uh, committed identity theft by taking her business and replicating her business using her name her uh likeness and her um items that she sells for her business and repeating that in other places without her permission so i mean 
he has shown you in every way possible that he is immoral, that he does illegal things, that he is angry, he is combative, he is absolutely narcissistic, but you believe him over this little baby who clearly don't even have the uh, desire to birth the thought of half of the things that Tim has done. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't. When people show you who they are, you believe them. That's, that's the saying. Tim has shown you his capabilities way before we got to the point of what he did. He, he, sh he showed you who he was. As a matter of fact, they didn't even speak for like 10 or 11 months for a period of time when she had ended up suing him. That wasn't too long before all of this happened. I don't understand why she just did not choose to give this young man the benefit of the doubt. Why? I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't. They said that the family had this boy living in a dump. They admitted uh, uh, that that young man loved his grandmother to death, but from the way they spoke, she, she talked to him very ugly, said some very hurtful things to him. As a matter of fact, he was so upset and angry, the sister said he threw his phone and said, uh, made a statement, I'm going to be one of God's soldiers. So regardless, I'm going to prove to my grandmother because I did not steal from her. I'm going to go back to St. Louis. As scared as I am, I'm going to go back. I'm going to prove to her because I love her that I did not do this. I'm going to do that. No matter what. And that's what he did. And the very fate that he thought he could come to is what happened. Now, we've all, if you've lived any, if you've loved any, then you've been angry. And if you've been angry, you understand that you can say things that you don't mean. And it's very easy to uh, put yourself in the shoes of someone, even for a short period of time, and understand that Miss Robbie may have just, whatever she said to him, she may not have really meant it. She could have been saying it out of anger. We are all human, and we all have that capability. So with her saying that, it only gives you the ability to understand that once everything played out, and she was forced to see it for what it was, she probably felt horribly guilty because it was so easy for her to take a moment and listen. And her anger did not allow her to do that at the time. So, that is sad. Because I'm sure that's how she feels. I'm sure she's hurt. Now, I'm going to tell you what I don't understand. Once the case had adjudicated and once the judge dismissed the proceedings and they went outside, um, it was said that the family hugged as, uh, you know, hugged all together. I don't, when they said the family, I don't know if it was just the Griggs family or both sides of Andre's family because all of them are family when it comes to Andre. Um, they did not go into detail and obviously there were no cameras, so we'll never know. Um, what they did say is when Tim uh, was, when he got the verdict that he turned his back to his mom, I guess he didn't want, I guess he was ashamed, maybe. He turned his back to his mother and when they put the cuffs on, he said, take care of my mom. 
Now, when they went outside, I would have expected the entire family as a whole to stand together because they stood for Andre. They can, ad I mean, when, when you love somebody and they do something wrong, you can still love them and know that because they did something wrong, they have to stand accused and they have to be accountable for their actions. So to me, why could both sides of Andre's family not stand together? The fact that they did now, what I did here is that they're supposed to re, uh, do a balloon rising for Andre, a balloon uh, release uh, for him. I don't know if it's just one side of the family or the other. When uh, individuals who are present speak of the family, they don't necessarily speak in a way that you can interpret unless you're there. Because to me, when you say the family's doing, everybody should be there. Grandma should be there. Everybody should be there. But now that the Griggs family has spoken the truth about the other side of the family, which is the Sweetie Pie side, we don't know what's going to happen. We really don't. Um, but this is a sad situation. There is no mistaking that. Um, but Andre is starting to get his justice. Until Tim is sentenced, which will be December. I want to say the 10th of December, but don't quote me on that. But I do know he will be sentenced in December. Um, Terika and Yael should be sentenced, I believe, at the end of this month. And I think the other young man, uh, Ty Travell, I think will be sentenced next month. But Tim will be the sentence in December. So, um, at that point, once everybody is sentenced and sent where they're sent, he will have justice. Now, uh, at the end of the case, Tim's attorney did speak. He did make a statement. I have yet to watch that because I guess I really didn't care what he said. Who knows? But I will eventually watch it. Um, what he did say is that Tim and him, I guess, are planning to appeal, that Tim is remaining positive. Um, and, but he did say that he felt because of some reason, because I've seen a little bit of it, um, that the jury did their job or some, something to that effect, like that they did their job, but he felt that it didn't go uh, as planned because of whatever reasons. That's the part I did not hear. But um, I'm, I'm definitely sh going to uh, get that information and get it to you. Um, I just really wanted to speak on this. I just, I don't know, I just feel for this family. I feel for the Griggs family. I feel for Andre. That's who I feel for. And so I wanted to make a statement because of that. But like I said, I had to go ahead and put my little disclosures out there. What I am repeating is what was said by XYZ people. Because uh, Miss Missy like to litigate people. And I'm, I'm, I, yeah. Yeah. Baby, you come over here, you're going to be sad, sad, sad. But like I said, uh, on a serious note, um... It, um, if, if a portion even of what was said is, is true, that's awful. That is awful that those people treated that young man like that and he loved them. And you know what? In a lot of instances, that's what people have to deal with. That's what people have to deal with. A child can love you to death and a child can still be treated a certain type of way. Like it's unfortunate. It is. It really is unfortunate. I felt that Miss Robbie did love her grandson. That's what I saw on the show. And I'm just going to take it for what I saw. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off of here. I just wanted to make the statement to get you guys some more information. Um... When I get my technical stuff together, we're definitely going to go live and have us a good old conversation about this subject. 
Um, and I hope you guys will be available and um, for that if you definitely want to do it uh, in the uh, comments. If you let me know if Saturday or Sunday is better for you, um, let me know. Um, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. Um, if you have questions, please leave them below. Um, I still plan to get the footage of the family, which I actually have the footage. I just need to get that uh, video developed and I will upload it. But I am going to go ahead and sign off and I will see you guys next time. Justice for Andre. At the end of the day, justice for Andre. When people are victimized, a lot of times after that instance, they get forgotten. All you have heard about and all people are talking about is Tim, 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 Tim. Justice for Andre.